Today I'm going to be showing you how to set your CAC City SPV 710 ABC altimeter barometer compass thermometer watch. So this is pretty simple. This is actually one of the easier watches I've ever found that you can set. All you're going to have to do is make sure that you're in the main timekeeping mode. You have to be in that mode in order to do your settings. And all we're going to do is we're going to press and hold our mode button. It's the bottom left button. And once we see our 12 hour or 24 hour uh, indicator blinking, we know we're in our settings. If we don't do anything for 30 seconds, it will take us back to our main timekeeping screen. At this point, we're going to use the barometer or, or altimeter button. It's the buttons on the right hand side to simply adjust the given setting that we're in. This is going to be your up. This is going to be your down. So if you want to keep it on 24 hour format, you can do that. I'm going to leave mine on 12 hour format. Then we're going to simply press the mode button to move to the next setting. So now I can adjust my hour again by using the up or down button. Press mode again, it'll take me to my minutes. Press mode again, it'll take me to my seconds. The only thing you can really do on your seconds is you can reset them back to zero. Press mode again, it'll take me to my month. I can adjust the month. I can adjust the date of the week. Today is November 30th, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I can adjust my year. Press mode again. Now it's gonna get a little bit trickier here. It's pretty easy. This is gonna be your weather indicator. So you've got a couple different options. You've got sunny, you've got raining, cloudy, partly sunny. I'm gonna leave mine on sunny. You wanna set this accordingly because once it starts reading your barometer values, it will adjust your weather indicator according to the given day. And it's kind of fun to look at the watch and see whether or not it met matches the actual weather that you're seeing. I'm gonna press mode again. It's gonna take me to my thermometer. Now, the first thing you can do here is you can adjust, do you want it in Fahrenheit or Celsius? That's gonna be basically your mode for the given uh, sensor, in this case, the thermometer. If I press mode a second time though, it's gonna give me the option to adjust my thermometer. So if I'm getting an invalid reading with my sensor and I wanted to adjust it, or if I wanted to set it exactly to my thermostat, something like that, you can do that here. I press the mode button again, we're gonna see kind of the same thing with our barometer. I can switch it between hectopascals or inches of mercury, set it to the value you want. If I press mode again though, it gives me the option to adjust my barometer manually. If I needed to make some tweaks to my barometer sensor reading, I can adjust that here. If I press mode again, we're gonna see the same thing with our altimeter. I can adjust it between showing it in feet or meters. I'll leave mine on feet. If I press the mode button, it takes me into the actual sensor where I can make a manual adjustment. So maybe you know your exact altitude and you want to enter it here, you would do that in this setting. Press mode one more time. The last thing that you can do is you can enter your sea level air pressure. Now you've got a sensor on the watch, so in most cases you're not going to need to adjust any of these, but it's kind of cool that they give you the ability to do it. But press mode one more time. It's going to take me back to the 12 hour, 24 hour format. We know that we've successfully gone through all of our different settings and we've set our watch accordingly. At this point, we don't need to do anything. If we don't touch the watch for 30 seconds, it'll take us back to our time mode. And that's when we know that we've successfully made our adjustments. I'm going to wait a few seconds. I'm going to let you see that. And then that'll conclude our video. I hope this video helps and I appreciate you watching. There we go, we're back in our time mode. We've successfully set our CAC City SPV 710 watch.